hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. <laughs> and I wanted to update you all. We got Bootsy's test results back, and it was none of what he tested for. So it wasn't thyroid, diabetes, or kidneys. Um, so we have to bring her back in again tomorrow. He thinks it's just irritable bowels. Um, but we got to take her back in. So we'll find out more information hopefully tomorrow. Okay. We have, um, I don't think I, I've welcomed them yet. So I'm going to do it again. But if I've already welcomed you, just considered yourself welcome twice. Mike and Paula Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. And Caitlin McDowell, welcome back. A lot's been going on in her life, a lot of changes. She's gone to a new school. She is now getting straight A's. She is getting high school credit. Um, she got a new job. She's working out every day. She's running every morning. Oh, and did I forget to mention, she just had a birthday last week. So, happy belated 14th birthday to you, Caitlin McDowell. So, awesome. I'm glad you're doing much better, and I'm glad to have you back with us. Okay, and um, some thoughts and prayers, guys. Um, Cameo Vlogs um, posted a video that she was, um, Lacey, her 10-year-old granddaughter, was having medical issues, and they weren't quite sure what was going on. So thoughts and prayers for her granddaughter, um, Lacey. Cameo Vlogs was going to the grocery store to pick up some groceries and she was stopped at a red light and a drunk driver rear-ended her going 45 miles an hour. Wow. And now she was stuck. She, she couldn't go to the hospital to see her granddaughter or anything because she's laid up. So thoughts and prayers go out to Lacey and to Cameo Vlogs. Um, hope all is going well for the both of you guys. It's a horrible thing. So, so very sorry. So very sorry. And the guy who hit her didn't have insurance or he was driving on in a suspended license and, um, he took off. And, um, Mom's Vlog 80 uh -oh. says, you know, when you're getting old, when you have, uh, wheel, wheel, or what is it, um, uh, Walmart cart rage. You can't say you haven't thought the same thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And my question the other day, I can't say it was yesterday because we didn't do shout outs yesterday. Sorry about that. But it's going to be well worth it once you guys see the investigation. Was, what is your favorite movie genre and why? Okay. Big D. Didn't give a genre, but he said his favorite movies are Back to the Future Trilogy. Excellent, excellent trilogy. I love that whole that whole trilogy. The Karate Kid Trilogy. Grandma's Boy Dazed and Confused. Have you ever heard of that? I haven't heard of that one. So, gotta check that one out. I dazed and Confused is a movie. Yeah, but... Did, she, did he run some movies together? Maybe. Maybe. Grandma's Boy and then Dazed and Confused? That, that's probably it. Okay. I've heard of Dazed and Confused. Okay. Destiny Swan says she likes romantic comedies because she likes to laugh. And her husband made her laugh. And that's what made her fall in love with him. And today, he still makes her laugh. And laughter cures just about anything, she says. Laughter is good medicine. Tanya Longley likes comedies, especially when she's had a bad day and she wants to come home, she pops in a comedy and she has a good laugh. Greg Myers likes horror movies. Tracy Quick says horror or supernatural. She likes to watch horror movies when her mind is going a little crazy with real life issues. 
Lord Gurno says, Fantasy. Magic is fa fascinating and reality bores him. I can, um, I can relate. Is he a muggle? <laughs> Are you a muggle? Um, Jess Lucero, sci-fi, horror, aliens, Event Horizons? Event Horizons a, a sci-fi movie. Oh, okay. Okay. So, there you go. Uh, Terry Johnson, romance movies. Some of her favorites are Somewhere in Time, The Way We Were, My Fair Lady, Gone with the Wind, Out of Africa, Field of Dreams, I Wonder Why, she doesn't like Kevin Costner or anything like that. <laughs> Bambi S, anything paranormal. And then her second choice would be comedy. And her daughter has a movie that she wanted to recommend to us, but she can't, um, she doesn't know the name of it, so she's got to wait for her daughter to come home and ask her. But her daughter likes torturing her with chick flicks. Ugh. Sorry, Bambi. Dougie style. Comedy. Simply because I like to laugh. Especially like the Marx Brothers and Laurel and Hardy. Cole today. Horror. The Abyss. Horror. Susie. Horror. Anything scary or paranormal. And Lord Gierno. <laughs> She didn't say why. So he said, why? Part two of Val's question. And she says, because I like to be scared watching movies. Yeah. Groovy man. Yeah. That's all I had. What is, if I have to ask, is your favorite? Oh, let me think. Romantic comedies? Oh, my God. Chick flips? That's all you. <laughs> Actually, it's not me. Horror films and uh, paranormal, I guess if that's actually a genre, I guess it's kind of a subgenre of, of horror. Mm, you like some sci-fi stuff. Yeah, sci-fi. I do like fantasy, too. Yeah. So. Anything that basically takes you out of your own reality. And... Yeah. Yeah, I like all of that stuff. I do watch um, some... Rom-coms. Um, rom-com. Rom-coms. I thought you said rom-pom. Rom-coms. Uh, romantic um, comedy. Yes. Um, partly because um, that's Megan likes those. And um, Megan and I will share some, some movies time together. And um, we go and we sit and we watch some of those. Um Megan's not home quite yet. That's why Ebony's still with us. <laughs> She's on her way, though. Um, so, but my mine is, is you know, horror. horror. But but not, uh, not the cheesy like made for sci-fi movie. You stuff. don't like Sharknado? Yeah. I don't. That stuff bores the heck out of me. Sharknado bores you. A giant alligator fighting a giant snake. Okay, that stuff is boring. I want to watch scary movies. Okay, not funny stuff like that. Funny scary. I like funny scary. Funny scary. That stuff bores me. Anyway, my question for today is: Have you ever played a practical joke on someone? If so, who and what was the practical joke? Pretty much anybody who has had a, a channel probably has got it on video. Well, too. I did my practical jokes before I even started YouTube. Well, you've done a couple of on, uh, practical jokes on me, although they never quite work out the way you planned them. Yeah, but, but the, the two main ones I did on my... Well, I did one on my mother and I did one on my father. And that was before I even met you. Mm. So. Okay. Okay. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. In my book, Ebony. Yeah, you. Uh, all right. Yesterday's question was a goodie. Hey, okay. As I was going up the stairs, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. 
I wish I wish he'd go away. So where did that come from? And um, it, it was in a couple of movies that I was aware of. Um, Terry Johnson actually came up with like 15 others that it was used in that I wasn't aware of. But it is a poem written by William Hughes Mearns in 1899. And it was called Antigonish, which is a town in Nova Scotia, Canada. It's also been called The Little Man Who Wasn't There. But uh, it's about a haunted house that he stayed at. And the, the man who wasn't there, he's referring to a ghost. He's there, but he's not really there. Get it? So the people who got that, just Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Cold Today, Bambi S. And if you want to see the entire poem, uh, Bambi S. wrote it down. If you want to see all the movies that it was used in, Terry Johnson wrote that down. All right. Yahoo! Tonight's question is a. This one's gonna be hard. I hope I, I don't stump you guys. There is. Yes, a, he does. There is a actor who is the only person who has been in a Mike Myers movie, Freddy movie, and Jason movie. I, I didn't say the titles of, of the movies. Just movies with those people, with those um, characters in it. Who is that person? It's an actor who has been in three franchises. It's only one that I know of. There you have it, your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Uh, again with the ear. <laughs> and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.